Hello everyone. It's been a long time, hasn't it? At least that's how I feel. I've posted a couple of videos here and there, but the last real devlog I've made was way back in September. That's a lot of time for a lot of things to happen, but work on the project progressed as usual so the game is still alive and healthy if you're wondering. Now before I talk about my main project, I have to address how things are going on with the promise I've made on the last devlog, the promise that I would make a tutorial video on how to make a custom resource editor. That's still progressing along with the main project as well, but I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't made as much progress with the tutorial as compared to things that I've done with my main project. Mostly because I've scrapped a lot of what I've already made and restarted again. It's going to be a while before I actually post that video, or videos. In the meantime while I'm trudging along making that tutorial for the third time, I set up a discord server for you guys to join. It might not be much, but it's there for you guys to ask for help in the meantime. It's still a very new server with no one in it, but I'll be there if you want to talk about things relating to what's in my devlogs or things relating to game development in general. I don't really use discord all that much, but I heard it's a good place to build up a community. With that said, let's move on to the next topic, shall we? This video was supposed to come out at the end of 2023 as a sort of recap video detailing the progress I've made throughout the year, but that didn't quite go as planned. Instead, it will just be a regular devlog talking about the most recent changes to the project. In this case, that recent change is the new experience system that I've added to the game. Before that, for anyone who stumbled upon this video not knowing what this project is all about, Deck Tactics is a turn-based tactics RPG roguelike deck builder where you take the role of a less than stellar apprentice summoner learning the arts of summoning magic through the use of a special magical book your old mentor gave you. The game mostly takes place inside the book, and you mainly use cards and unit pieces on the board to play. You progress through the game by going up a series of challenges until you fight the final boss. The main audience for my games are for those who like tactics RPG games but also found the joy of roguelike deck builders. Both of the two genres are similar enough where you are rewarded for thinking things through, so I'm sure it's a good match for a genre mashup. Now that we've know what deck tactics is, let's move on and talk about the most recent big change, the addition of the experience system. The experience system in most games exist, usually, to reward the player for their time playing the game. My game isn't any different. The player, champion, units, and cards all have their own independent level and they level up once they get enough experience after a battle. The amount of experience gain is based on the level of the enemy they are facing and how much enemy is defeated. Multiple stronger enemies will yield far greater experience than fighting one weak enemy. However, units will only gain experience whenever they are played from the player's hand, while cards will only gain experience alongside the units they are a part of, so when a unit gain experience, that also mean their cards also gain experience. Cards also have an additional quirk to them when gaining experience. The more of the same cards there are in your deck, the more that card will gain experience after battle. For instance, having 5 dummy spell will increase all dummy spells experience gain by 5 times. So with enough of the same cards in your deck, you could, in theory, have a unit level up a card a bunch of times in a single battle. On leveling up, a random stat from the player, champion, or unit will increase. This will be changed later to something more like how Chrono Cross handle stat increase. I want what you do in the game to directly affects how you progress rather than it being on a fixed set amount, that way it feels like you are more in control of your unit. That's leveling up for the game's units, the cards on the other hand don't receive any stat increase, because they don't have stats, instead card levels work a little differently. For one, card levels aren't shared between units, meaning when a unit levels up a card, when that same cards get transferred to another unit who hasn't used that card before it goes back to level 1. This quirk is the reason why when referring to card levels, they are called mastery level, instead of just regular levels. As for what happens after a unit masters a card, well, there's a few things I have planned once that happens. One is the unlocking of upgrade slots which relates to the upgrade system, the other has to do with another system, the synthesis system. Both of them aren't implemented yet so I won't talk about them yet, so look forward to that when I get around to doing that. And that's mostly the experience system. If you're wondering why my game needs an experience system in the first place, well, that's because they're fun, and also since I've given liberty to the player to construct their unit's deck a whole lot of issues came up in the process. The experience system solves some of these issues, but that's a topic for another time. The video has gone long enough by this point. And, 
that's it then. We have reached the end of the video. Thank you for listening if you happen to stay until this far. The channel has been growing slowly, but growing nonetheless. I'm grateful that you guys tune in every once in a while even if just a little bit. The last thing I want to say is Happy New Year. See you guys on the next devlog.